Hi there everybody, I am Sinkaku. Just watching this video, if you're somebody that's into computers, gadgets, games, especially Razer products, I've had Razer keyboards, mice. Unfortunately, I can't say that I've had an actual Razer headset. I wouldn't mind one. Actually, one of the ones I want to get is the Razer headset, but never mind that. Let's cut to the chase with this video. Absolutely amazing. Just Razer are known for being the company that have the gamer in mind. Anything the gamer wants or feel they feel that the gamer needs to better the performance or tailor to their needs a lot better than other companies will, they'll go out of their way to think of just ways to just surpass every other company that's out there and just blow people's minds. And this is just amazing. I mean, see that LCD screen? There's a little modular. Uh, it's like it looked like there was two modular parts connected to a screen, and it was get ah. Oh, it's just so many things that I can think that you could just create as a module and stick it in there. So good. Um, one thing about this is whether it's going to be then compatible is the motherboard kind of uh, seated as one of these as well um, what their ideas are obviously this is just a concept video this isn't anything official they have called it project Christine um, what it looks like it's just um, a little like stand a hollow stand and you just uh, start plugging in all your modules like your CPU your graphics you want to extend your RAM just chuck in a new module um, I don't know if it might be a good idea to kind of do trade-in so you can trade in your old gear so they can then recycle that and turn it into uh, better hardware thus you save money off of upgrading your hardware um, so obviously a CPU uh, memory, graphics, um, like devices like uh, CD-ROMs, Blu-ray players. Um, th the only thing that I say about the motherboard possibly being an issue is because obviously sometimes when you want to upgrade your CPU or you want to upgrade your uh, graphics card or something like that, technology has changed, thus requiring you to buy a new motherboard. Whether they then managed to work with certain companies to make th these motherboards into a module so all the connectors go into the end of this module connect into this big tower stand and then all the other devices plug into that motherboard connector um, so that then ruling out the fact that you need to swap all your obviously you still you need to swap all your modular devices but then it's just like pull that out, put that in, put this one in, then you don't need to really worry about the fact that you might need to buy a new case in order to um, home or host this new graphics card you got that's too big or any of that kind of stuff. So I really like the look of Project Christine, shall we say. Um, well, yes we shall, because that's what they've called it. It really looks just uh i don't know what to say i just this literally hit my subscription box watched it and just had a fit basically i was like oh my god amazing this project christine changes everything absolutely everything groundbreaking amazing awesomeness what else can you expect from these quality products right Anyway, I am Sukaku. Don't forget like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you for watching, and ciao for now.